you have a quick tip? I do not. Oh my gosh, do I love that thing. Because, oh, you know, they, they don't make them anymore. So, yeah, they quit making them. Yeah, and I messaged, I messaged them, and I asked if, like, if there's any chance that they're going to start making them again. I'd really like one. And he said that they had, like, two or three blanks left. And he said, I'll make you one if you want. Yes, please. <laughs> so I got it this year, and I prefer it for crappies now. People, uh, people really like that quick tip. Especially for, like, wraps. There we go. What up? Yo, what's up, guys? Trying to get this zoomed in for you here a little bit. There you go. So you're not going to be seeing me at all. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> you're not going to be seeing me at all, so you guys will be happy about that. <laughs> of course, what do I do with the ice scoop? Um, I had it. Oh, it's back here. Okay. Just murdered my... Murdered my uh, precision noodle. Trying to get all this out. Yo, what's up, guys? What am I fishing for? Dude, did you not read the title? <laughs> Trying to sight fish for a rainbow trot. Well, actually, I mean, I'm, I'm, I am sight fishing for a rainbow trout. Oh, dear. My buddy T-Bone, he's in the other house he, over there. Got Sam Twistall from 10K Outdoors in here with me. We're both just trying to catch a trout. Oh, there we go. What's up, Braden? Christopher, H&H &H Angling. Oh, uh, there's Nick. Nick Linder. Nick. Yeah, what? Travis. Matthias. Mark, A. Eh, Mark. A. Eh, Rick. Brandy, what are you using for bait? I'm using a Z-Viber with some, I'll reel up and show you here. It was in a, a Z-Viber with some stank on it. Just kidding, got some wax worms on it. Kind of middle of the, well, it's late morning. The fish aren't that fired up right now, but we're just hoping to get something to come through here. Been seeing a, f a few fish here and there. Sam's caught a bunch. T Bone's caught a bunch. I caught one. Allegedly. Alleged. Oh, allegedly. Yeah. T -bone allegedly. Has caught a bunch. We haven't seen the, these fish. <laughs> we saw the first one. He's gonna yell at us again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun though when he's in a different house. Stop moving my feet in the ice. Well, H H. We, we know how to fish. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to tap dance for him. Yeah. I thought that brings Hey, in. Richard. Hello from Sweden. What's up, man? Oh, Lance. Justin from Kansas. How thick is the ice? Uh, it's probably nine inches, maybe. Looking at probably like 14 inches thick. That's what it looks like to me in a comparison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't with you. I can't with you. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, right now we're in 30... <laughs> you can hear t just giggling back there. <laughs> right now we're in 38 feet of water. Um, the trout are all coming in with, le with like less than 10 feet. Less than 6 feet even. Yep. So, I'm just gonna... Sit here, let you guys watch. Maybe answer some questions for you guys if you got anything. What rod I'm using? I'm using the 36 inch tuned up custom rod bull whip. What's up, Lonnie? Water's pretty clear here. We'll, 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 if a trout comes in, we're going to see him. Um, be a little bit slower here during the day. Sam said they're going to come in like crazy in the afternoon. Big mauger. Um, this is say I'm using the eight-inch light flight. Forty percent of the time. Is it? Oh, every how time. dare they? Somebody wants. Somebody says, "Is it true Sam's mullet is fake?" <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who is it? Matthew Johnson. You rat. <laughs> That's the guy that wants us to go salmon fishing oh. with him in Wisconsin. <laughs> rat. Where's the beaver? Um, they're not here. That's for sure. 
There we go. A little bit better zoomed in down there. Yeah, I took a took a hiatus from the beaver you're trapping, you guys. Um, just truth be told, we got you know two feet of snow on the lakes. Trapping's hard to begin with, but uh, you put two feet of snow on the lakes, you got to start shoveling out beaver houses, and you I don't want to go into cardiac arrest trying to catch a ten dollar beaver. <laughs> Beaver are worth it, just not worth that much. Do I trap coons? I do. I trap a few. I caught, caught a couple this year in my, in my fall videos. Um, I don't trap a ton of them. It's kind of tough for me to uh, focus on 10 different things. I don't know. I got a small attention span, possibly. It's better than me. I can't <laughs> chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> I just trap a lot of rats a lot of beaver otters um yeah muskrat or yeah i wanted to do coyotes this year just with oh, everything i got going on it just wasn't working out you guys so i'd actually i'd planned on even snaring some but it just didn't happen yeah most of the lakes most of our other lakes have like 14 plus inches on them Detecting rods and reels. Headed out hoping for a perch bite. Man, I'd sure like to get on a perch bite myself. We are fishing for stocked rainbows in this lake. They don't look like a stocked rainbow, though. They're the color on them. Beautiful, aren't they? They are. Lake? They are gorgeous. That other lake that I've told you about has some, like, darker than that. Like, they are, like, really? black almost. They're beautiful. I just like to just see one fish come out of the lake on video for us. I don't even care if Sam catches it. <laughs> I just want to get one on. Um, I just want to see something come into the camera here. Or not live scope on uh, sight fishing. I mean, we could definitely go out and start hole hopping and catch trout again. Sure. But <clears throat> this is cooler. Water trapping is a lot of fun. I don't know. I mean, I. I, I used to land trap, man, I can, I used to trap fox like you wouldn't believe. It was fun, you know, you'd go pull over the hill and see the red bouncing around your trap, or, or you'd see a skunk and get mad. That happened a lot. But I started, just kind of went to water trapping and just stuck with it. Uh, if we, Rick, we're getting fish, just, you know, we got them, to, we need to get them to come in. I do have a tip down outside with a uh, smelt on it. There are giant northern pikes in here too. <clears throat> and one of these times if I do a live, I should like announce it a day or two ahead of time so you guys know instead of just throwing it out on you randomly. Ben, we are in northern Minnesota. Gotta be careful not to pull the Sam. What? You still got a phone at the bottom of the lake somewhere, don't you? No. <laughs> we scuba dived for it. Did you? Yeah, we got it. Oh, it still really? works and everything. Holy? Yeah. You got her back, huh? Yeah. Sam may or may not have knocked his <laughs> phone over the edge of the boat shooting alive on the lake. Was it trout fishing or were you guilty? No, I was uh, crappie fishing. Got, oh. too, got too excited with the, uh, the hook set and... Uh, just right on the phone, on uh, live. You know I can't answer that question, <laughs> Ginger. H and H angling, um, ice fishing for trout opened yesterday. There is a season for that. 
on certain lakes. Some lakes aren't even open to trout fishing, but Minnesota has an ice season. Brayton, you're making a wooden fishing lure right now, eh? For pike, muscalunge, hardbarks. We're patiently waiting. I'm not trying to knock my phone down the hole. Mm -hmm. Ah, you're from you're Bemidji, okay. How far is Bemidji here from here, roughly, you think? Gosh, I've driven it to and from I know probably direction. an hour and 20 ish no. kind of kind of about the same for you every just everything because of the roads and stuff the back roads is just hour 20 sure uh northwestern whitetails yeah we I caught one smaller one earlier I marked one I didn't get Sam's got a what do you got how many have you caught so far three or four three T-Bone's caught like four or five. He's caught two. <laughs> We've seen two. <laughs> I, I might have seen three. <clears throat> Unless he just put that one in his pocket for a while and then pulled it back out and said, I got another one. See, I think that's what it is. He's going to yell at us any minute now. Eric, that is not a bear hook. Got some waxies on here. Um... Scott has one tip up up, yeah, I don't. Gavin, what's up, man? Do I eat, Ben, do I eat beaver or muskrat? Oh, I eat beaver. Good stuff. Organic meat. They eat roots and bark. Man, can't beat it. Good morning, you do a give. You should do a giveaway to run and set up and set. Oh, to run set traps you. I've thought about it, Brad. I'm not going to lie to you. Mace, I love your trap videos. I love making the trap videos. I just wish we didn't have 24 feet of snow. All flatfish were made of wood and, and would be used for trout. Uh-oh, T-Bone, he commented. He's on here watching. Shh, stop talking crap about him. Oh, he said, geez. Jesus. <laughs> How many lines you allowed out? Uh, two one. on this. What? Uh, trout fishing during the winter is one. Oh, yeah. Trout fishing during the winter is one. Yep. I always forget about that because it's just ice fishing's two. But, yeah, designated ice, designated trout lakes are one. How do I know the lenders? Uh, Nick Linder is kind of a buddy of mine. He does uh, actually a bunch of promotional stuff, social media, uh, so on and so forth. Has his own YouTube channel and everything. Um, you should go check him out. He's definitely got some great stuff. He's on here. I seen him on here earlier. Uh, headed behind it, this big storm. We're well, Actually, it's snowing though right now, but it's only going to snow for a couple hours. What do you do when the walleyes get really finicky and really aren't biting? Any tips? I leave and go catch crappies. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wintertime, I don't like walleyes. Or, you know, locally, the local lakes, you catch a couple, but they're just not on fire like summertime. You can just go and hammer them. And a lot of just like having to fish at night, you know, that prime time bite it's not like we're yeah you know. this is weird summertime during the day you can go and hammer them on slip bobbers lindy rigs you know casting soft plastics whatever winter time it's like a always like a morning and evening bite small window it's just i don't know they frustrate me sometimes that's what's nice about like the woods that you can actually fish them during the day oh back in the woods 
Oh, Lake of the Woods. Lake, Lake of the, Lake of the Woods. Woods, yeah. Or, or same thing, Devil's Lake, North Dakota, man. They bite during the daytime there, too. Good morning from Coos Bay, Oregon. Jacob, morning. White tails. How much should we blanket beaver? In I, so I just, I sell my beaver unskinned. And get 10, 10 to 12 bucks a piece for them. Pine, pine, why is me, am I using a four pound on? Ah, uh, there's a market for skulls. I don't. I don't. I. I really don't mess around with any of that stuff, you guys. I just sell them whole, and I don't have anywhere to sell or to skin them really anymore. So I just dump them off and call it good. Going to Michigan and fish Saginaw Bay through the ice for a walleye. I'd love to. I'd love to get out of Minnesota farther and fish. I just need to take a vacation one time and do it. You know, I don't. Uh, a, a skin blanket. Well, I don't know honestly, Ben, what a skin skin blanket beaver brings. I mean, caster. The skin itself really isn't worth nothing. You know, everybody wants a caster. So everybody that I know, they want them whole and unskinned. Hey, Jay fishes. What's up, Jay? You out fishing today? Guys, get a chance. Go check out Jay fishes. He has a great YouTube channel. Does a lot of bass fishing. Does all kinds of fishing. Go check out Jay. You, T Bone, you guys haven't seen any Mark II, but didn't seem interested. So T Bone's marked a couple. We haven't. We haven't seen nothing. I haven't seen anything, honestly, within like 80 feet. Oh. For the most part. On the live scope. I've seen like two. You set up in a bad spot, Scott. <sighs> You know what the problem is? T-Bone caught them all. Allegedly. He caught all the trout out of this area. He caught like six on that side and seven on this side. And they've I think, all... he's, I think he's got 27 now. 20, yeah. I don't even know what I'm fishing for. He's going to catch both of our limits. I know, right? Gavin, any trout? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a few. T-Bone's got the most. I've got the least. But I caught one. <laughs> when I say I caught one, that's what I meant. I caught one. All right. What do you what are you going for, Jay? There you go. Mm, gosh, there's a guy from Russia here. Um, I don't, I don't, I can't translate, man. I see a lot of guys from like Russia. They they're always liking my videos, commenting. I appreciate it. I've I've translated some of it. I'm smarter than that. I should be able to just you know get the Google translation. But I appreciate when you guys comment. I actually watch a lot of your videos. Good stuff, you guys. Well, Mark, cold water crappie are fantastic. Jacob going out to catch some trot tomorrow. None in PA, huh? Yeah, we got we got ice all right. But it was canceled. I'm going ice fishing. Let's go, Big Woods. Let's go. Oh. Louie, what's up? Oh, that's right. Oh, oh. Strawberry Fanta. Oh, strawberry's uh -huh. good. 
strawberry is good Fanta. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna save some foam battery here on this live, and I'm gonna be jumping on here after a couple of hours when the bite's gonna be hot, 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 back hot. up. So appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Um, can't believe we had. We had over 300 at one point on the live. Appreciate all 2,700 of you guys that have came in. It's crazy. Right? For a little yeah. short, short live. No, I've never done a TikTok live. I should do one eventually. You've never done a TikTok I've live? I've never done a single TikTok live. What? Yeah. Wow. TikTok is fun to go live it on. It is. I should. I should good. Maybe I'll do that here after a bit. Ben, go later for some panfish. That's a great idea. I, you know, I was going to go, I don't know. I was actually going to go back after some giant pike today up on LOW. And then I was on Sam's live last night and he mentioned trout fishing. And I said, what a great idea. And then here we are. Louie, greetings from Alberta. I like it. I like it up in Canada. They won't let me in, but I like you guys still. <laughs> they won't let me in. <laughs> I'm a bad man in Canada. Wait, he's he's saying he's from Canada? Yeah, he said he's from Canada. <laughs> Gee, oh, got some tulipies, huh? You up on Lake Leech or somewhere, or Lake of the Woods? It wasn't my best to look close to shore in shallow water near a drop-off. So we are actually, we are pretty close to shore. Like, um, if you just go up to the left a little bit, it drops off to like 70 feet. Droning, bait, and catching fur. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Like, I just want one to come in. I just want one to come in and go across right there so you guys can see it. If you guys want to know, like, a survival tip... Shellless pistachios. You know you love Reese's peanut butter cups. And strawberry Fanta. If I'm going on a long road trip and I, I'm afraid I might get stranded in a blizzard, that's what I bring to survive. Johnny Bait. Maddie. Maddie Pot Pie. Let's go. You know, brother. We just need a trout to come in. Oh, nice much. So do you think night crawlers would work? You know, I've seen night crawlers work for trout, you know, through the ice. Um, Cascade Lake, you see people dead sticking with them all the time. Uh, they would probably work, you know, for bluegills around here. I don't know, it just, everything freezes. So it's, I would assume it'd be hard to get them, you know. I almost bought some of those trout worms. You know, they're like only this big. Oh, and actually, okay. when, dude, it's, I don't know, I tried them on this lake, it, they didn't seem to love them in the summer, but um, they have a weird smell to them. Oh, really? They have a weird smell, and like, <laughs> they actually, like, ooze stuff out of their skin. Ooh. So, I thought it was Maybe it's be, like the oil. Yeah, Maybe I don't It's know. supposed to. It's like a creamy color. Hmm. You know that creamy color. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that creamy texture. <laughs> Louis, what am I beaver trapping? Late ice, man. This we got too much snow. Unfortunately, the snow has put my trap in the rest for a while. Gavin, when am I making a new Instagram for trapping? I've been thinking about that. Um, I actually got a hold of Instagram and they got back to me about my account and they just they pretty much what they said was any like like anybody that has a hunting page, anything like that. If it gets reported too many times or something, they will take it down because they, they don't support it. They don't support hunting and trapping and the killing of animals. Even though you see giant pages that have them on there, they just haven't gotten reported enough yet. Or I mean, that's that's what they told me. So I'm just, you know. Waiting. Just, just yeah, debating, you know. I'll start. I'll start, a, you know what, I'll probably start another trapping youtube or trapping instagram 
um, in more towards late ice when I start trapping again. And if they if they knock that one down, then I'm just not gonna you know if they if they take another one down from me, I'm just gonna leave it be and uh, not make another one for Instagram. But I'll keep on I'll keep on making YouTube videos. So no shells, no nope, man. Sometimes I'm just feeling lazy. <laughs> Alexandria Walmart does crawlers. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> My favorite fish is pike and walleye. Um, nice Ooh. trout. Is there? Uh, 30 feet away. Come on. Coming this way. up like four feet below the ice. What are they like? Did you take off now? I don't know. I switched it to so okay. mode. So it didn't bother anything. Mm -hmm. Don't know if it actually matters. But... Sam said there's a trout in the vicinity. Mark, I, man, it sucks, you know, I put, I put years and hard work into that Instagram, you know, and for them just to take it away and be like, ah, oh, tough, it really pissed me off, even that Jocelyn, Arson Jocelyn or something, or Jocelyn Arson was the person that I am certain that whoever that is, they either work for Instagram or or they had a friend that worked that worked for Instagram because they threatened to shut my account down and it was shut down that day. So I mean, how can how can somebody else in Instagram tell me my account's gonna get shut down and then it gets shut down? How is that even possible? BS. Brian, we're in about forty feet. Gavin, you started your own hunting trap and fish channel spirit this year inspired by me. Thanks, man. You know what? People always ask me, they're like, when is a good time to start a YouTube channel? And I'm like, yesterday, a week ago, the day you think about it. Make your channel. Put a video up. I don't care if you're picking your nose on there and talking about trapping. Because there's five other people. So you're saying I'm doing it wrong when I've been thinking about it for two years? And <laughs> yeah. I haven't done it yet? <laughs> Sam always talks about it. He gets video, all kinds of stuff. And he never posts oh, it. Gosh, no kidding, dude. Just, you know, when when you're talking about it, doing it there's five other people or ten other people or a hundred people that day especially you know fishing it's such a saturated market you know everybody's unless you're doing something special it seems or don't tell him but t-bone has a fish by him uh oh or maybe tell him maybe you'll get stage t-bone right. there's a fish by you i want <laughs> we want to hear you hoop when you get a bite What flasher am I running? I'm running my Markham LX7 on lithium shuttle. Not that it really matters right now because we're just staring down the hole. How good are you at fishing? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> is, that a, is that a real question? What am I fishing for? What area of the state are you in? Uh, we're in the like northeastern part of the state, I think. Catch something already got stuff to do. Hey man, I can't make the trout come in and bite. Man, we need a, we need a social media platform made by hunting, made by hunting supporters. You know, Gavin, um, there is a platform that's that's been made. It's got a it's got a you know a monthly subscription to it. What one is that? That's called Uncut. Flare and Flare and those guys. Uh, There's another it. one too that's literally like an Instagram that's strictly hunting and fishing, but just. No one jumps on board on them is the problem. Oh. 
Sure. Like, it, yeah. It just doesn't have the clout like Instagram. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uncut, huh? I haven't heard of that one. Imagine getting a world record on the first bite. That would be great. Man, that is bad. I know what it, I know that it would be nice. Yep, uncut outdoors. Yep. I've, I've even thought about seeing about joining up with them. Post and trap, you know, YouTube hasn't given me grief about my, my trapping videos. You know, I, a lot of it's about ticking the right boxes, you know. You go to upload, it gives you 20 different options of, you know, what you, you know, what kind of content are you putting up? Is it gory? Is it shocking? Is it, you know, just tick the right boxes. I, I put on there that there might be a swear word. It's throwing out like damn or hell. Um, Satan. Ah, oh my God. My YouTube's getting shut down right now. <laughs> you know, or, and I also put that I'm, I've got, uh, that there's content down there that might be shocking for people, but it's educational. Yeah, love it. Ten bucks a month. Brian, honestly, when people, a lot of people complain. They're like, oh my God, I got to pay for something. Dude, you know how many people have subscriptions to Hulu or whatever, and they don't even watch a, a show on it all month long. They forget about it. Ten dollars is nothing. DH Trapper Man, sir. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. First fish was Rainbow Trail when I was six. Nice, man. I, I used to, Actually, when I was young, I caught a few rainbows myself. Yeah, Mark, That's you got a good point. If I decide to join Uncut, it would definitely, you know, only way to hurt the other platforms is by leaving. That's true. People just need to finally do it. Yeah. If enough hunting people just said, screw this, and they stopped and yep. left, it would change, I think. I mean, because YouTube generates a lot of revenue for people. You know, those videos? Holy crap. Clayton shit. Oh, yeah. Think about how much they just get from that one person. Yep. Yeah, or uh, what's his name? Uh, there's that Bobby, Bobby Guy Films. You know him at all? He's got, I, I don't know. He's from even, Minnesota, right? I can't remember. He's got a duck hunting, a lot of duck hunting. Oh, um, no. Mindak Outdoors, you know, they do a lot of hunting. Um, yeah. DH, hi, man. Uh... Ooh, a and B Outdoors Adventures. What's up, yo? Good to see you in here. DH, um, please quit spamming the thing. I don't want to have to put you in a timeout. Um, I'm not bad at fishing. I mean, I catch fish. I'm better at crappies and bluegills. Um, summertime, I'm pretty good at walleyes bass i can catch a little bit of everything if anything we can blame the guide today <laughs> it's all sam's fault it's all my fault trapper j is on there you have to go check out trapper j you guys got TikTok, man. Go check out Sam over here. He's got an awesome TikTok. 10K Outdoors. He'd love to have you. Mm -hmm. The more the merrier. Finally getting back into the swing things. What's my biggest catch this year? Um, if you're talking fishing, I got a 40 and 3 quarter inch pike like three days ago in Lake of the Woods. Uh, beaver, I got a 68 and a half pounder earlier this year. I won't put you in timeout, DH. Just quit saying hi, hey, ha, ha, ho, ha, ha, all the good stuff. I'll answer questions, but single words over and over. Just It just clutters up the chat is all. Hey, man. Yeah, Trapper G, he sent me a picture of some 
fish finders that they had where he was at and it just wasn't a great um you know bunch of fish finders to choose from for ice fishing wise so i'm not sure if he like went online and bought one um but i mean any anything will work yeah and joining me hopefully is like if you can get them up here like we're gonna get on some fish get on some pike maybe i'll even talk him into going like maybe we'll go to devil's lake or something for a couple days um you get pike walleye everything Ben, my heaviest beaver ever was 86 pounds. I caught that when I was 16. Uh, moose hunting is the best. I would love to go moose hunting sometime. AB, thanks. It was a that was a big pike too. Heavy, very heavy. Well, do you hunt? What all do I hunt? You know, uh, mostly just deer. You know, uh, every now and then I'll do a little grouse hunting. I haven't duck hunted in a long time. I like to, but fall is crazy for me for work man i got no time to do anything you should come duck hunting with me one time i should i keep talking about it i just need to do it maybe i've never been ice fishing but i would love to give it a go once i've moved oh it's amazing ice is nice what is that thing in the water well this is my jig the thing off to the right of my hole is just the transducer for my fish finder that's off the screen there Oh, we got a Lorance on. Okay. That'll work. Amanda. I will call you Amanda. Thank you very much. Have I ever eaten moose meat before? I have. It's fantastic. You've never seen snow? Amanda? What? Really? Mm-hmm. So you're saying you've never seen you've never seen people sitting over forty feet of water looking down a hole? I spend my entire fall doing outdoor stuff. Yeah, I when I'm not working I'm outside doing something. Maddie, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Tricky hunting doesn't do it for me. I uh when I'm trapping I could like hit the turkeys over the head with a stick if I want to do. I've called them in just just doing a mouth call before. Come get some snow here. We have lots. I don't know if we got you can we have a ton of snow here. It's horrible. You're Woodland Creel. You're on Woodland and Creel Bay, Louie. It doesn't even snow where I live in Western Australia. Oh my gosh. That makes sense. You're in Western Australia. How cold does it get there? Not cold. <laughs> I have a buddy that uh, fishes out there quite a bit. Well, he lives there, but he, he he's always in my page. And yeah, his winters, I think, are like in the 50s. Wow. You should do some shed hunting. We did this late this winter. Jacob, I did one last spring where I found a set. Pretty cool. The little spear pike here. Oh yeah, a lot of people do some pike spearing. Midnight outdoors. Good day, sir. Try out, try coyote hunting. I want to do that too. I just haven't made it out there. Got to try turkey hunting here. I'm native Canadian. Oh, cool. Amanda, not very cold. I'm moving to South Dakota in about three months, hopefully. That's where. That's what I'm talking about. The Amanda is? Yep. From Australia? From Australia. What is she? Why? Smart move. <laughs> well, why Why I don't from... I don't, I don't think you can own guns in Australia, can you, Amanda? Not really. And you guys are pretty much locked down. That's got to be kind of not good. I'm going to go try whole hop. Okay. That's it down still. Normal looking. Tip down is not down. Oh, I hate lugging this thing around. 
<laughs> I'm sure. God, I need it. Black box weighs like 80 pounds. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna start hole hopping out deeper. Usually, my, it seems like during the day they're out a little bit. My go-to deer caliber, I you know what? I've shot a I've shot a 30 out six, 270, Boy, 243. Like way up shallow, um, my favorite is my 308 though. Cam, it's hard to get one moving over there to be with my boyfriend. Good for you, Amanda. South Dakota is awesome. It's cold, but man, awesome ice fishing over there. Favorite cars of Dodge Daytona. There you go. I used to want a Dodge Daytona when I was younger. Why did Sam end his life? Probably because we weren't catching a lot. Of, it's been, it's like a midday lull, you know. Um, plus he's limited on his battery. Okay, my phone's... I'm trying to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, right there. Okay. You boys staying warm today? Caught many? Well, Trapper, we caught, we caught some right away. Um, it's pretty nice out. It's like 20-some degrees outside. Um, I got the old... I got the insulated hub set up, the heater going, so... Ice in West Virginia don't get that thick enough to get out on. Does it ever, like, where you can just walk out? 243. 243 is a good round. All season doors keep good, great videos. I will try. I like to move out of here. I hate how hot weather. Well, South Dakota's got plenty of cold weather. In the summertime, it's got really nice weather. You know. Got a 12-pointer in sand my bowl this year. Ooh. Nice. Chris Hopkins, what's my actual job? So in the summertime, me and a friend of mine, we own and operate a irrigation company. So we do sprinkler work. Summertimes I'm really busy, that's why I don't put out a lot of videos. Lou, you want a beaver trap but don't have the right equipment? You gotta go out and buy some, man. Just start with a trap or two. And catch a catch a couple of beaver and sell those and buy another trap. A lot of people out there, or do you pretty much have a lake to yourself? Oh, there's, when we got here for about the first hour and a half, there's nobody. Now there's probably five huts spread out across the lake. So it's not a lot of people. Here in Ohio, I use a 450 BM, but beaver cut down my tree stand. Oh, Mike, you gotta go get, you gotta go get them beavers. I going to the National Convention in Lima, Ohio. No, I'm I'm gonna try to make the Minnesota Convention this year, though. Ooh. There's a trout. Got a trout. Oh, where'd he go? Come back. Do you guys see it? You guys see that trout come through? They're just a few feet down. Gosh, I didn't. All I did was jig. He didn't. He was out. That was fast. Come back, Mr. Trout. Maddie, that thing was. That thing. I actually looked at my flasher and seen the red mark. I looked down for a second and he was there, like did a, a U turn and then was gone. Mm. 
Your dad killed a moose, the 22 long rifle. Nice. Hard shots, big moose. Do I bow hunt? I love to bow hunt. Yeah, I'm gonna I need to go on live more on YouTube, you guys. I just never think about it. Maddie, you missed it. Oh man, it was it it looked like about a 14 incher. 4 inch on the one lake, but the DNR shuts the road off, so it oh my gosh, 15 miles. That's a a little too long to walk to try and uh, fish for me. I don't blame you. Finally, Layla has waiting. Good luck, bud. Thanks. We can get it just <laughs> in the trout coming here. Oh, no. No, you guys. There go all my pistachios into the snow. I'm eating them. There's no way I'm giving them up. Hmm. Get a floater. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh. You guys see that? Damn near lost my phone. I'm trying to eat my pistachios off the ice. Ice nuts. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ben, I should land trap. <coughs> oh, God, I'm choking on these nuts. <coughs> I should land trap more. What? Did you? T-Bone's got one over there. Want to bring it over here and show them what a trout looks like? Yeah. T-Bone's coming with a trout. He caught one. Let's see what they look like. Dude, I had one come right in, and it like, you can go and come in if you want and let it go in this hole. Oh, T-Bone's so, got one. So flooded. Yeah, there we go. That's one of those rainbows out of here. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I had one come in, and it just like did a cartwheel, and it was gone. Nice rainbow, see? I didn't catch it, but T-Bone's on him. See, he, he is catching them. <laughs> Dude, I almost lost my phone down the hole. Then I spilled my pistachios all over the, all the ice. It's a, it's this whole operation is a train wreck. It's so flooded. <laughs> oh gosh, there we go. Oh, awesome, man. Thanks. I'm warm my hands. Yeah. I'm gonna set this rod down for a minute. <laughs> and try to not uh, lose my phone down the hole. Bear with me for a second, you guys. Oh, because my tripod. There we go. I wasn't out there that long either. Oh, did you, were you out? Were I you, went out a little bit after Sam. Oh, you were out hole hopping, huh? See? They're out in deeper water. Well, I did. I did have one come in here. Let's see here. I'll scroll back up. That's cool. <laughs> Has a beaver trap and slowed down up there? It, it never slows down. I mean... If a guy could get traps out, you'd catch beaver, but you just can't. Too much snow. Yeah, this this thing almost went down the hole. <laughs> yeah, I was there with Sam when he lost his. Amanda, do we have a heater? I do. See it back here behind me? There we go. It's only on low right now because it's really not that cold out. Ben, what is the turn limit on trout? I think it's five, but you're only three, allowed three over 16. 
Yeah, it's usually hard packed snow and ice on the road if the cow path. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a long ways to travel to try an ice fish. Fifteen miles, I I couldn't do it. Whoa. Well, good luck, man. I gotta finish scooping up these ice nuts. That's a nice chunk. Bear with me for a minute, you guys. I'm trying to eat these nuts. Just so you can see what I'm dealing with. See that? Don't mind me guys, I'm just trying to pick all these nuts up quick. You guys eat pistachios, you know that they're too valuable just to leave on the ice here. I can't do it. Mm. there. Okay. Hmm. Ice nuts have been eaten. There we go. We're back. I think we're back anyway. Mm-hmm. Maybe. There we go. Markums do not float. How often do you target mink? Not too often. I know how to catch them though. Hmm. Slaying some Lakers would be great, Judd. What's the bait? Jigging a waxy? No. I got a Z Viber. Z Viber on with some waxies on it. Order mix scrotum trout sniffer. I'm working on it, man. Hard to sniff those trout when they don't want to bite. Mm. 
Ben, we have a. Well, I don't have any. I don't have any Martin right around me. Got to get more north. But we have a lot of Fisher. Um, I don't know. Their fur is comparable to. Gosh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a raccoon. So what would you, what would you use in an ice tent, ice tent setup? So normally, you can see we're sight fishing right now, Amanda. But normally, um, when you're when you're fishing trout, um, you're moving around, you're jigging a lot, and the fish are just running all over the place. Um, they'll come in randomly, just under the ice. When you're fishing for like sunfish or crappies, normally you're fishing. You know, depending on the lake, basin 15 or 20, 25 feet deep, and the crappies are suspended off the bottom. They're a lot easier to fish. There's a lot more numbers of them than there are trout. And normally you just cut one hole because you're not sight fishing them. They're just too far down to see. Louie, you've got five or six fish in your lifetime. Well, that's good, man. You need to get out there and catch a few more. Get her started, bud. Don't mind me. I'm trying to open my Reese's peanut butter cup before I starve to death. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I smashed it. I'm still going to eat it. No! No! Peanut butter cup in the ice? What kind of... This is horrible. I'm not catching fish and I drop my peanut butter cup in the ice? Look at that thing. It's been smashed. I'm still going to eat it. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Don't worry, Yoder. I'll save something. I'll eat the bait if I have to. Amanda, I'm dropping everything. I'm a hot mess. Louie, I use moose meat for pike and walleye bait. That's cool. You just never, you know, so as a show, you never know what, what fish you're going to bite on somewhere. battery yeah really we get fully charged they both were fully charged um and i mean i fully charge them and all i've been running off of them is the just the my otter lights the hell like usually one of those bat two of those batteries should last me almost all day oh yeah well come i don't know come get this other one well it makes me wonder if my live bolt is like overdrawing or something yeah. that i mean that's you would you know if it was one battery okay but gosh you went through a few i actually got a actually i didn't catch it but i actually got a trout on video coming in oh, did you? yep that's hot yeah t-bone caught one right when t-bone had one caught one i had one that <clears throat> came in he came over and showed that one to the camera. Show off. I asked him to. I said, enough of this talking about it. We want to see it. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, you, you should have. You did? I thought you were going to. I pr probably my fault. My fault. I told him to come in here and let it go. <laughs> now now T-Bone's going to go hungry. <laughs> Yoder, I've never tried beaver tail for trout, but I'm sure it would work fantastic. It works fantastic for crappies and bluegills. Louis turned 14 in July this year. That's cool. Skelly, Minnesota. Hey, just wanted to stop by and thank you for all the videos you have. Oh, they're a huge help. I'm from Minnesota and just got certified trapper certified this month, and I'm starting to, or I'm starting to start to trap. Well, good for you because I'm not gonna lie, trappers are awesome, and I love to hear when people are catching, trapping a new trapper. Man, trapping is a dying art. Not a lot of people do it anymore, and more people need to get on that, you know, horse and start trapping. It's fun once you get once you get out trapping. It's addicting, dude. Sam, I've been having such a rough time. Why? Why? I almost lost my phone in the hole. Then I dropped the entire bag of pistachios on the ice, and I spent fifteen <laughs> minutes picking them out of the water on video. And then, then that trout comes in. Then, then after I after I got the last pistachio picked up, I dropped my peanut butter cups in the in like in the slush. Oh. I've almost almost given up on life already. <clears throat> Fucking seats all fogged up. What is? My glasses are all fogged oh. up. I can't fucking <laughs> see. <clears throat> they should yeah, those batteries shouldn't be very drained. Like I said, I oh, gosh. I've only uh <clears throat> I've only ran those lights on there. Yeah, like, and T-Bones was at 64% when I started hmm. it. So, I mean, I don't know what's up with my live scope. Should not be draining. I'm going to tip down still up. Tip down still up out there, Sam? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching them. Oh, yeah. You'll, you'll hear me yelling. <laughs> Fish! Uh, as I'm catching I know. You'll be like, it's the 40 incher. I told you they were in here. Oh. One of your beaver vids, you said you have more confidence in your trigger on the side. Why is that? I understand it in deep runs. Oh, gosh. You know, it depends. Um, my catch, I don't know, my catch rate is just higher when the, when I have the trap set sideways. Um, if I have the trap set down, you know, with the trigger on the bottom. So tra traditionally, the trigger goes on the bottom. To prevent fur damage, okay? That's why I like on the bottom. The con to it is the fact that when beaver come into a shallow bank den, often they, they'll walk into that bank den. So when they're walking, they're putting their feet out in front of them. Well, they put their feet out and catch that trigger before their head gets in there. Sprung trap, now you got an educated beaver. It happens. If you put the trigger on the top, you get fur damage but you but you seem to catch you know do better catching beaver i just if i can i just put it on the side and I, and I seem to catch you know numbers that way warriors heart fishing morning everyone morning is that lake deep yep it is i hope so i'm in like 60 feet of water what is that lure you're using? That is a Z-Viber. A couple wax worms on it. Am I going to Baxter next weekend? Um, I will not. I will be working, unfortunately. How do you come up with a trap and course and structure? I don't know. People have asked me to do it. And, I, you know, I just don't have time, which is kind of sad because, you know, if anybody can, you know, help get more people trapping, well... You know, I shouldn't say that because I do with my YouTube videos. It just there's just not time for everything. I 
I can make you a fishing lure to try and fish with you like. Um, I mean, Braden, you could. I don't. It'll be a while before uh, open water hits. Lou and on Beaver Trap just watching your videos. That's good, man. You know, I I actually have some friends that have went trapping with me a few times, and they, they say the same thing. You know, they say they've never trapped a day in their life themselves, but after going with me numerous times, they are very confident that they could go out and set a trap if they had to. So a peel box, I do not. I've been thinking about getting one though, because people have been wanting to send me some stuff. Um, maybe hit me up on Instagram or something or TikTok if you have it. And when I get a peel box, I can give it to you. Imagine using Reese's peanut butter cups for fish bait. I couldn't, dude. I couldn't do it. It's so good. I would hook myself in the mouth because I would just bite them. Brayden, there's really nowhere to send it right now. I'm not going to give out my home address online. Um, like I said, maybe hit me up on TikTok or Instagram at 330 Maniac Fishing. And when I get a P.O. box, I can give it to you then. Amanda, you're making me hungry. I, you know, I'm actually hungry. I should have like, brought some brats or something or hamburgers and grilled on the ice. Lord knows I can't eat trout because I'm not catching any. been catch any i i haven't i caught one this morning we had one come in maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago middle of the day is slow i guess just hoping to get a stray one to come through and catch it <laughs> yeah, still not helping. I know. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh -uh. Yeah, venison jerky would be good right about now. Gosh, any jerky would be good. Can you use feathers up there? Um, I don't know. <laughs> be honest with you. Kangaroo jerky is awesome. You know, it's one thing I can say I've never had. I'd try it. I've had. I made beaver jerky before.
My grandpa had a trap line now. My dad's going to sign his name on it so I can own it. Good for you, Louie. <clears throat> I know you guys have registered trap lines up north, up there in Can up there in Canada. That's pretty cool. Here, so a lot of people kind of wonder how, you know, how tra how trapping goes around here. So around here, we have hundreds, thousands, and thou we have thousands and thousands of lakes. Th thousands of lakes, thousands of ponds, thousands of streams, little tiny sloughs, you name it. And about every single one of those has a beaver lodge in it, okay? Here in Minnesota, if you can f legally access any of those waterways, when I say legally access, that means put your two feet or your two wheels on that ice legally, <clears throat> whether it be a private owner or public right away. Here, you got one? No. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, nice. But yeah, if you can get on to see, we have public landings here. We have public right of ways. A lot of the highways within, if, if you can get to the water within 75 feet of that road edge, you can legally walk on it. There's a lot of different rules to go by, but most of my trapping is done public waterways. And we have so many beaver here that it doesn't matter. You could trap hundreds, hundreds, you know, every year like I do. And the next year, there's just as many, if not more. What's the biggest jaw spread in the water up there? Ben, are you talking like the biggest legally allowed? Um, I know what I'd have to look it up. I don't even know. Man, it's so good if it's done right. Hey, you know what? I don't think I've eaten any type of meat that was bad besides brown swaggered. I think that's what it's called. Anybody heard of brown swaggered? The gross. <laughs> oh lord what's the best way to tell if a lodge is active this time of year oh a good active lodge will have a big air hole on the top you'll go up to the top of the lodge and somewhere on there there's going to be a large open hole that's all melted um there's likely going to be a stack of snow and ice around it that will tell you if there's if there's something living in there or not. How long will your lakes have a lid on them? Talking ice, I hope. Um, usually late March, it goes out. Can I break into beaver dams or lodges? So. It is illegal to tamper with a beaver dam or a beaver lodge here in Minnesota, unless you have a permit, uh, or if you're like if you're a landowner, and uh, let's say I go to somebody's house and the beaver are there destroying. Guys got a flag? Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't see worth the crap, but I can hear. <laughs> but uh yeah, then I mean then you know there's then those people can break dams and so on and so forth, so their land isn't flooding. Love eating rue and deer when I can. Goat is okay. Goat ain't bad. My grandpa has goats. I've had that. But I can muskrats. Yes, you can. You can cut into muskrat huts here. 
but in the rule book you have to when you cut into that muskrat hut you have to reach in take wetted it literally says it in the law take wetted material out of the hut and seal the hole that you've made you can't just chop a hole in it and leave it like that ruse me to miss eating once i moved ah oh, man I, I hear you i'm sure my dad has a business in Minnesota he called Buckle Blasting where we can have a legal permit to blow beaver dams of dynamite. Yep. Yep, you can, or you, like if if somebody, if somebody, like if a landowner, you know, doesn't want to try to take the dam out themselves, they will hire people out to blast the dams out. You know, we're fortunate here in Minnesota. We're one of the few states that allows you to chop into the rat huts. Most states don't let you. And what I've found, you know, honestly in general is when 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 somebody like let's say I can chop into rat huts here and I know trappers from other states that can't, they'll actually look down on you. They'll be like, That's that's wrong, you know. It's not wrong. I mean, if, if you can, if you could, I grew up trapping rats inside of rat huts, man. There's nothing wrong with it. Just be responsible and, and close those huts up when you're done. I think a lot of people get jealous because they can't do it, to be honest with you. If, it, if you don't do it their way, then it's the wrong way. I, I get that a lot. If you're a trapper, you always have something to learn. doesn't matter how long you've been trapping for. Can't see through the ice to find run, so how should I trap rats? I uh I don't know. Um I know some people I mean once once the ice gets thick, it's just it's too much work. Um I know when the ice is really thin, people will, you know, find the runs around the huts and, and do like baited sets under the ice. Once the ice gets really thick, like I won't even trap them in the runs anymore. I just Wait until next year. I know some states have a springtime season. Man, I wish we had a springtime trapping trap or rat trapping season. That'd be fantastic. Um, Ohio pronounced Lima Lime A. Okay. I need to make it to some more trapping conventions. I bait for weeks and it hasn't worked. Ah, uh, you might have it in the wrong spots, man. Okay, what have you been using for bait? I mean, I use carrots, celery, apples on a trigger. I've even put green flagging on the trigger but of a 110 and caught, caught rats off of it. How deep do you fish for rainbows? You know, early in the morning, they're they're usually up pretty shallow. I mean, in, anywhere from five feet to, you know, 10, 15 feet of water. <clears throat> in this particular lake, uh, 25 to 65 feet, we're catching them. But they're only like five feet under the ice. It's kind of wild. Well, Ben, I'd say that you're probably not in the right spot then. You know, if, you know, muskrats aren't super intelligent. If you get in or near their runs and they go buy food, they'll they'll definitely take the take the bait. What sharks you set up on weed edge? No, they, they just roam. I mean, you, you're looking for break lines pretty much when you're trout fishing. 
Because like any other fish, they're just going to run that edge. <sighs> We're ready for a nap. <clears throat> It's close. Oh, it's close. Well, you might be close to the huts, but if you're not actually in a run, you know, the, the rats aren't going to see it. Everybody, I've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. I've only had that one trout come through. If they start firing up here this afternoon, I'm going to hop back on here. So hopefully they do. Um, and if they do, I'm going to come back and do some more, do, do more lives. Uh, in fact, I'll probably, you know, I'll, I'll try to do more for my fish houses. Instead of just the sight fishing, maybe I'll just set up and catch some bluegills or something some night too. So, I appreciate everybody stopping in very much. And I appreciate you being in here, taking care, taking out the riffraff that uh, has been commenting bad stuff. Brent, enjoy the rest of your day, you too. Amanda, you enjoy your day. Everybody enjoy their day. And like I said, uh, if they start biting here this afternoon, which hopefully they will, I'll, I'll hop back on here. And if not, I'm gonna try. I'll be getting some more videos out soon enough, guys. Thanks for stopping by.